come out of her, my people. All truth is not kind here. There's a bitter truth as well as a sweet truth. Come out of her, my people. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Glory to the King. Greetings to each and every last one of you in the sweet, precious, and strong, and victorious and mighty overcoming name of our soon coming King, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. I hope each and every last one of you are encouraged um, and that your day has went well on this first day of the week. Well, we're in the second day right now. Hallelujah. Because it's already the night portion. It's already night outside, honey. Mm -hmm. It's already the night portion for us here at Straightway. Myself and the brethren uh, have been working very, very hard and been really, truly been getting after it. We've appreciated all the hands that were on deck today because every hand has definitely helped save us a lot of time in the work that we've done. And um, we're going to hit it again tomorrow. We're going to be right back at it again. Glory to the King. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. We're getting um, things ready because the family is growing and uh, we want you and you and you to be edified. Um, I want y'all to understand something, especially since I'm going to be talking a lot about spiritual warfare. You're, you're going to be challenged. You're going to be challenged deeply and greatly. You're going to have a lot of thoughts um, and, a, and a lot of suggestions admitted to the mind. Uh, and I hope that you can be able to make it through all these teachings because it's going to reveal to you, you, and the things that you have been subjecting yourself to when it comes to spiritual warfare. But remember this always, that the messages are not there to damage you. Uh, they're there to turn on the light. They're there for you to be able to see what the enemy has been doing all this time. And we're getting ready to really step it up. We're going to really, really step up the... Uh, the intensity of the messages um, so you can get a grasp of what's going on. Um, because you need to know, because if you don't know, those accusing spirits will start to speak in your mind and they will accuse your brother. They really, truly will. Uh, they will accuse your brother and sisters to you, against you, and and the devil, because of lack of communication, uh, would do everything he can to try to destroy the body of Christ. Now, uh, we got an upcoming meeting in Atlanta, Georgia, November 3rd. Um, and of course, I got the meeting information on the forum boards. I hope that you've um, all went over to freespeak.net, freespeak.net and signed up over there and, and, um, and really start to use that as well as try to pull as many people you can from Facebook and other sources over the free speak, I need for you all to get out there and advertise. I need for you to get out there and advertise, advertise, advertise to pull as many people over the free speak as you can as possible. Uh, also, don't forget to let the videos play, um, especially if they're short ones. If they're long ones, then just go ahead and go right to the video. Um, every single offering I get, I spend every bit of it um, on the saints of the most high, some way, somehow, from in the work of the most high. And that's how we're able to do uh, a lot of these meetings and stuff. And so I look forward to see it. Those of you who can make it, we anticipate, um, I guess what you would call a nice crowd to be showing up in Atlanta. Um, I'm probably looking at somewhere in the, in the room of, I don't know, I'll just, it'd be between um, 50 and 100. That's a good one, isn't it? Um. I want everybody to understand that this spiritual warfare we're getting ready to go into, it's very serious business. So I need for you to be very discerning. I need for you to uh, have your conscious and your mind and your spirit totally aware um, of what's going on. And it probably would help if you will go way back in my YouTube archives and start listening to some of those older messages uh, because they're personal um, up front and personal to the person. And that's just the truth. Um, we encourage you straightway, even though we're tired, we're highly tired. We've been working on groundworks and footings, and I never did anticipate this kind of work. 
It's just that when the most high puts it in my heart and something that is really needed and need to be done. So we have to allocate time while we have time and we have to get it done. We just, that's just all there's to it. We just have to get it done. And so we have to really work really, really hard. Oh, glory to the king. We've had an enemy try to disturb the work. We had some neighbors up here call um, codes on us, but it didn't stop to work. It uh, Nothing became of it. As a matter of fact, it seems like that the code guy uh, ended up becoming our friend. And um, the coincidence is, is that the man who is the codes officer up here in this county, his wife just so happened to work with my wife at Regions Bank in downtown Nashville when my when Sister Carol used to be the ATM coordinator for Regions Bank in the South. Isn't that something? So the devil meant it for evil, but y'all turned it out for good because he came out and he really truly didn't even want to look at everything after he found out the type of people we were um, and how we got it done. Glory to the king. Yep, the most high grant us favor with man even in this uh, wicked redneck county that we live in. And it doesn't trouble us or bother us one bit at all. Glory to the king. All righty. Now let's see what we got going on. We're going to go ahead and open up the phone line. Uh, guest calling number 310-982-4226. 310-982-4226. I'm going to go ahead and get right on back. Um, out early again in the morning with the brother, and we're going to head on out there. We're going to take care of um, the building of the temple. Now, hey, um, what was that I was going to talk about? Maybe it'll come back to my mind, um, but I will talk about it once it comes to my mind. Um, yeah, we're going to go to Pennsylvania. Um, Eric Cole, 412-412. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straightway Truth. How may I help you? Yeah. How are you, sir? This oh, is Brother Robbie. Brother Robbie, doing well. How are you doing, brother? Well, I'm doing pretty good, sir. Um, you know, I was uh, talking to my wife, and um, the Bible says that we should confess our faults. And uh, I just wanted to tell you, you know, in uh, the other state, that I feel like I'm being a hindrance to my wife. Uh, I work from 11 at night till 7 in the morning, and I'm off uh, the Sabbath, and it's real convenient for me. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, great. And um, when it's time for Sabbath service, I'm lounging, I'm relaxing, and I think because of my hours, I'm basically laying around the house. And I find myself laying in bed watching Sabbath service. And I have a strong conviction on that. It's on my heart. And I thought I'd let the saints know because I don't want to be a hindrance to the body. <coughs> and I uh, just want to confess my fault, my fault, you know, and let you know where I stand on this. I'm correcting it. I had a uh, wise counseling from Brother Shane yesterday on um, comprehension. I spoke to him over the phone, and uh, then he had the other brethren that have my number, I'd like to get in contact with me, um, you know, on some. I just wanted to basically let you know where I stand on this and to tell you that uh, I'm correcting this matter, and uh, that's, that's where I'm at on this pastor. Well, Brother Robbie, you know, if you got those kind of hours and stuff, and that's one reason why that I always run, if you notice the video, immediately after Sabbath service, and we leave it up until the next scripture study so people can look at it at their convenience. Um, you know, sometimes your your sleep patterns may be off a little bit because of the hours you keep, but uh, that's why I always have it available there for you to go back and watch again, um, Yeah, if you understand what I mean. And so if you have if you normally sleep during that time, then go ahead and sleep and keep your pattern the same even though you're off on that Shabbat night. Um, and then when you wake up, before you uh, get ready to go to work and all the other stuff, watch it again because it's uploaded there. Yes, sir. Let her watch it's just it. Because, you know, that I, I had on, on my heart. And 
and then listening to my wife feeling as though it's, it's a hindrance, you know, and that's that. All right. Well, hey, bro, Robbie, just be encouraged, okay? Yes, sir. Bless you, Pastor, and thank you. Good hearing from you. Shalom. Shalom. All right, Sister Molly. Going to Sister Molly in New York. Calling number 716. Now, we just left Brother Robbie in Pennsylvania. Now, we're going to Sister Molly in New York. Calling number 716. 716. Come on, Sister Molly. What you got? Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Pastor. How are you? Doing well, daughter of Zion. How are you? I am wonderful. Thank you. Well, you I just wanted to call and um, tell you that I'm praying for all of you. And that it is such a blessing what you're doing right now, all of your hard work. And um, even though I can't be there, I'm definitely keeping you in prayer. Well, you know, the brethren, they're working pretty hard out there. Uh, they really, truly are. They, they are working extremely hard uh, to do what we need to do to get things done. But I'm not going to kid you one bit. We are very, very tired. But we'll, yeah. get, we'll get some rest, though. Indeed. <laughs> what you got? Um, that's about it. I just wanted to tell you thank you for all your hard work and for um, your messages. And it's amazing to me that, you know, everything that you're doing and yet um, the clarity that Yah gives to you in your messages, it's so um, evident and it's just really beautiful. And I watched the video that Brother Jermaine posted of um, the service in Chicago and I don't know what came over me, but I was just so full of joy and just so happy watching it. Um, just at the word being preached in these minds, you know, um, I pray that, you know, Yah's will be done there and whoever is supposed to hear it that they do. But it was just really beautiful. And, yeah, so thank you for everything. Well, how did you enjoy Shabbat service yesterday? I, I definitely did. <laughs> Um, and of course now my mind is drawing a blank because my baby's talking to me, but. Well, that's okay. <laughs> we know that you watched it. Yeah, I definitely do. Um, yeah, so. Well, it's good talking with you. I am sorry? I said it's good talking with you, Sister Marley. You too, Pastor Dowell, and um, shalom to everybody there, and I'm thinking of all of you, and um, have a blessed night. Shalom. Be encouraged. Okay. Shalom. All right. We're going to Louisiana. Pastor Johnson, call number 985. This is Pastor Dowell. What you got, Pastor? Hello, Pastor Johnson, call number 985. This is Pastor Dowell. What you got, Pastor? Shalom, Pastor Dowell. This is Sister Betty. How you doing, Sister Betty? I'm doing wonderful. I was just calling to tell you and Sister Carol, I'm praying y'all strength and all the saints out there. I love you all and I miss you. Hold on for a second. Oh boy, Sister Betty, you, you're going to have to go into the other room and speak to me through the telephone because the, the feedback is really horrendous. I'm going to bring you back up, okay? So whenever y'all call, y'all have to go go into the other room. Go into another room, okay? I'm going to bring you back up. All right, let's try this again. What you got, Sister Betty? I said, Shalom, Pastor Dow. You're in Sister Karen all the same. I love you all. I miss you. And I really, really enjoyed Shabbat service on yesterday. <laughs> I enjoyed it so well that I'm going to re-listen to it again just to keep me encouraged. That was a long service. Yes, it was, but it was very intriguing. It was very um, knowledgeable, and just to get some understanding and just to put my foot in the right path and just to continue on, I know that I need to listen to it again because it made a lot, a lot of sense, Pastor Dow. So it must have answered a lot of questions then, huh? Oh, yes. How's so the that's what I was calling in for. I don't know what's going on with my... I, I think when I call from the house phone, it does that. For some reason, when I call from my cell phone, it doesn't have that interference like it does. But I was calling just to, um, to let you know I pray your strength and just let all the saints know to continue on the right path and 
follow through and be encouraged. How is Jason and Jacoby doing? They're doing fine. I'm chasing behind them. Their mom is at work tonight. Ah, are they? Let me see. Now, they're not old enough to walk yet, are they? No, but they're pulling up. They, they crawl in like they're on a, um, roller skates. I can tell you that. I believe that. Now, yeah, they're pulling up, crawling, getting into everything. Oh, yes, they get into everything. But um, I'll make sure that I give you and Sister Carol a call tomorrow. I, I needed to talk with you. Uh, what is a good time to call? Maybe, um, maybe 6 o'clock tomorrow p.m.? Uh, yeah, I mean, you can. We're usually at home um, after 4, you know what I mean, for sure, from the dining hall. Um, but the broadcast won't be on long tonight. If you want to, as soon as the broadcast over, you can give us a call. No, there's no need. I mean, I just needed to um, speak to you, you know, but I want you to go out and get you some rest. I can't wait till tomorrow to speak to you. Oh, I thought you said you wanted to talk to Sister Carol. I do. I want to talk to you and her both, but I didn't want to interrupt y'all's rest. I know you're tired. Well, I mean, yeah, we be tired, but, you know, okay. Well, call tomorrow evening. And I'll call tomorrow evening. Be blessed and shalom all the saints. All right, bless you, Sister Betty. Okay. All right, going to Texas now. That was Sister Betty in Louisiana. We're going to go to Brother Greg there in Texas. All right, Brother Greg, what you got, my brother? Shalom, shalom, Pastor. How's it going? Oh, brother. Man, I, I, I'm i wore out, Brother Greg. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to kid you. I'm literally wore out. Hey, hey, it's no problem. Well, I'm wore out too, Pastor. I, I ain't going to keep the blog uh, held up, but I just wanted to go ahead and share a few things with you. Uh, first off, today, you know, we went ahead and uh, helped Mother Lily out today. We put a vacuum together for him. Uh, the ladies cooked for him. Brothers out there doing yard work and cleaning up the yard for him. And then did some fellowship and a lot of praying today, too. So I just I just want to make sure that uh, she, she mentioned Sister Barbara a lot today. So I, I just want to make sure that uh, everybody's straight away to keep uh, Mother Lily in, uh, in their prayers. She's, you know, she, she has a son who ain't uh, who really isn't about a thing, you know, and he don't do much for her. He, he, he walked up and he just shook my hand and grabbed some, grabbed some stuff and kept, and kept on going. Don't, don't care to do the yard for her and stuff like that, so I'm just glad that the Saints in Dallas and uh, us Saints in Houston and the Saints in Austin, because the House of Records are with us, that we just, you know, we always come visit and encourage her and pray for her and, and do things that she can't do on her own anymore. Well, you know what? Y'all are mm -hmm. definitely Hebrews and you're definitely Israelites because y'all are taking care of those that are widows indeed. And, and you know, I yes, know, sir. and if I know Mother Thomas, and I do, because she's been with me a long time. You know, bro, Greg, she is one of the, when I was on shortwave radio um, long, 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 long time ago, Mother Lily Thomas, do you know that she is the only one left from the shortwave radio audience? I mean, I've had a few people pass away, you know, they were older generation, but Mother Lily yeah, Thomas yeah. is the only one left that still listens and supports, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she, she's wonderful. She's wonderful. Was she happy to and, see uh, y'all? Yeah. No, I said she's doing wonderful, man. And, 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 uh, and she, she, like I said, she mentioned Sister Barbara a lot. And you said the Barbara had her, you know, laughing and stuff like that. She, she's very good. She's very high in spirit. That's for sure. I tell you what, very, um, very high in spirit. I, I guarantee you she's happy to see y'all, isn't she? Every time, every time. She never wants us to leave. And, uh, and you know, we love going over there. And like I said, the brothers, the brothers get to work, man. We, we, we pull out the weed eaters and pull them lawnmowers out. We get to work. We knock it out. And the ladies up in there cooking and fellowship with it, and everybody comes in. We prayed probably about three, four times a day. Um, but Mother Lily, you know, uh, and then the Alta Records, you know, they came in uh, to, to pitch a hand, you know, and they 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 just now getting back to Austin. So, you know, that, that's, that, that's a good brother right there and along, along with his family. You know, so they, they've been helping us out. And then uh, the second thing is, too, is, uh, you know, we uh, yesterday was a good sermon you had. And uh, we had Brother Al Sarekka's father today. He's trying to pull him to the faith, you know. And and uh, Brother Al Sarekka was kind of down because, you know, his, his dad still kind of disappointed him and kind of didn't quite understand, you know, your sermon too much. Didn't really take much from it. You know, I, I guess just, I guess some people got their ears, man, and others just don't. Well, you know, it, the ears to hear is all predicated upon the Most High. He said he didn't have ears let him hear, but yeah. remember the picking and choosing of this thing, it depends. Hey, 
This is on the most high. Yeah. He's the one that does the drawing. Most people, they, brother, they, it's hard for them to be drawn because of the hardness of their hearts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just, we just, we just hoping uh, that, you know, I mean, right now, Brother Al's Ruck and his family, they definitely walk in the walk. So, you know, we just, we just hoping that his, his uh, parents and his, uh, his family over there, and they just see his walk and, and, you know, that, that through the most high comes over them and same thing with my fam, you know, and all that good stuff. But it was, it was definitely a good sermon. We was over there. This is the friend that had a, uh, a packed house. And um, you know, she uh, she they they definitely uh, mentioned you, and she she can't wait to to be able to have a chance to get out there straight away herself, Sister Brenda. You know, but, bro, uh, it was it was wonderful. Yeah. Sister Brenda, brother, that's the, um, that, that's another blessed sister, man. Y'all got a good thing going down there, brother Greg. Y'all, man, every time y'all call in, people hear about the testimony what y'all doing, brother. Y'all are strengthening the body of Christ, because y'all are not only hearers, but y'all are actual doers of the word. And it, and it blesses Absolutely. everybody. Yeah. You always talk about that, you know, uh, about uh, being being a doer. And to tell you the truth, man, uh, me, myself, my brother Mitch, you know, Rachel, Catherine, brother Daryl, you know, we the main five in my house. They got the House of Record family, the Coleman's. I mean, we, we, we out here. We out here in Texas. Texas is growing. We're growing as much as we possibly can make it grow. And, uh, and we definitely gonna keep on doing because we know we know who one who are the doers um, in, in this faith. You know, you you always tell us that the Hebrews, our faith is acquainted with the correct actions. Right. You know, and 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 we we're gonna we're not only gonna continue to faith mentally and in our hearts, but also physically and doing what we're supposed to do uh, for the rest of the brethren, whether they're widowed, whether they're fatherless, motherless, and so on and so forth. You know, and, and and the best part about it, everybody, everywhere me and Miss goes, whether it's Sister Brenda's house, whether it's the House of Records, Caesar, the Gormans, uh, New Orleans, straightway itself, people are always tripping out because it's always one brother against another, it's always sister against mother, and stuff like that. But the most high is granted both of us to hear to hear, and we we pretty much a tag team out here in Houston, and it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, it is. It really, truly is, brother. Y'all keep after it, brother Greg, and um. And yes, keep sir. And yes, sir. keep bringing honor and glory to the name of the King. Absolutely, so we we're not gonna keep this. I know you only got an hour tonight, but I just wanted to go ahead and uh, give you that report about uh, uh Mother Lily and stuff, and Catherine back here saying pray for her. <laughs> well, hey, we got Brother Mitchell. He's got two MP3 discs enough to keep Mother Lily Thomas busy for a long, long time. A lot of oh people. man, that's gonna that's gonna be wonderful. Yep. He's got them with him. Okay, good. I'm glad he does. We're gonna make sure we get those to her because she is. If there's anything new coming from Straightway, and we can get it to her, you, you don't understand how much it blesses her. She, and that's just a very highly blessed woman. She can't see, but you know what? She that stays with her all over the house. Hallelujah. All right, bro, Greg. Good hearing from you, my brother. Hey. Hey, hey, anytime. Y'all take it easy and tell everyone up there Straightway, shalom, shalom. Love y'all and miss y'all. See y'all soon. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, that's, that's Brother Greg from Houston, Texas. Brother Mitchell is on the road heading back home right now. He's a few hours away from home. Uh, we had such a wonderful time with Brother Mitchell spending time up here with us. It's just a blessing. And um, a lot of tears were shed um, as he left. It's like leaving family. I mean, it's just the way it is. But he's encouraged. Along with a strong brother, brother Greg down there, they ready to get to work, do the work, and get it done. All right, we're going to, that's brother Greg in Texas. We're going to go from Texas. Now we're going to go to Florida. We're going to Florida, so sister Tamaki, no, Tamaki. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Maybe she can help me. 850, Eric, 850. Come on, sister. Teach me how to pronounce your name. Tamika. Tamika. <laughs> Tamika. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Oh, good evening. Good evening. I just had a a quick question. Sure. Make sure I wasn't putting words in your mouth yesterday. All right. But but the the demons and and Satan no longer have the power to kill. Was that the right conclusion I went to? Yes. Okay, that was all. Yes, because now when when Christ resurrected where well, when he went down into the lower parts he took the keys to the gates took the keys of hell and um he's the one who has the you know the power of death and that, that means and when i'm talking about that sister i'm talking about 
Um, when you know, if we, you remember when we went over the story or the account in the apocrypha where this spirit Asmodeus was killing all these yes, husbands? Sir. You're right. See, now you know, um, uh, sometimes you know, we work on today actually killing ourselves, mm -hmm. death by the spoon, not taking care of ourselves, not doing things right, um, or living a life of sin, which gives legal grounds and legal rights to demons to work in our body to work destruction. But the power of life and death is in the tongue, but the power of life and death, it belongs to the Father. Amen? Yes, sir. Good hearing from you. Okay. Well, well let, me, let me go further then. So what about the... I understand that, we, you know, we, we're killing ourselves, and, and that's a spiritual thing, too. But now what about the think you by and suck you by and mayor? They what? no longer have that physical power? No, they still have physical power. Demonic spirits, they have not been limited in their physical power to have influences in our lives. Um, and that's the reason why they're very real entities and very real beings. And we must live our lives. You see, our defense sister is keeping the commandments. And that commandments is fear. That's letting us know who our allegiance is to and who it belongs to. When we obey Yah, we have a hedge of protection built up around us. That's what the connection I was making with Job. Whenever we disobey Yah, that hedge is taken down, and then the demons are allowed to influence our lives in certain ways to bring about destruction because we are yielding to the spirits, the evil spirits. Remember, no man can serve two masters. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. That was all. All right. Okay. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom. Good night. Good night. It's always good hearing from these Israelites. That's Sister Tamika in Florida. We're going to go to New York. We're going to go to Junior. Call her number 347. 347. Um, come on, Junior. What you got, brother? Yeah, see, I'm working, working today in the, um, in the video. Yeah. She has some Mexicans, too. Yeah. Some Mexicans, they work hard, man. Those Mexicans work hard. Yeah, they do. They're brought like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little crew in town that I know, and we met some time ago that whenever we're doing block work and I have a big project, I call them up, brother, and they, they come out and give us a hand. Isn't that beautiful? That's a blessing. Free to the ask for nothing, nothing. Just come and work. Boom. They don't, they don't talk. They just get it done. That's, that's how I like about it. They doers. Yeah. It's coming to that. They doers. Yes. They're very fond of us because we take care of them. And, uh, man, they, they shoot me such a low price when I come to do it. We feed them and stuff, and, and I usually give them more than what they already ask for because they just they keep a good spirit. They honor us, brother, They um, and they work with us. You see, all the brother was working right along with them. It's beautiful. It's a blessing. Like you treat like family. Yeah. It's supposed to be like family. What about like today? We, we, well, the Bible, hmm? the Bible teaches, Junior, that you make friends with unrighteous mammon, that they may be able to receive you in everlasting habitations. And, and we do have a few friends that are pretty fond of us, you know what I mean? But, hey, well, at least one thing, we do get it done, don't we? Yeah. Y'all don't talk, let's get it done. I get there, boom. Y'all don't chat, chat, none of that. It's all about work. Boom. All I wish right. I was there. I could help out, too. I wish I was there, man. I could help out. Well, you know, everybody you can learn something too. Yeah, that's true. Like where everybody wants to say you wanna say where everybody what? You yeah, say yeah. something about that. Well, you know, everybody um would love to be here, but we know other people, you know, people got obligations and stuff and we try our best uh to be an example for people to let them know when it's time to work, brother, it's time to work. I understand. I understand. That's all I gotta say. I know you gotta rest or more so shalom all you straight off shalom, all y'all listening. Scott, bro. Shalom. All right, Shalom, bro. Junior, good hearing from you. Good hearing from Junior, isn't it? All right, we're going to go to Louisiana. We're going to leave New York and go to Louisiana and talk to Sister Malicia. Sister Malicia, 225. Sister Malicia, what you doing, sister? Hey, Pastor. Hi, sister. Hey, Pastor. 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 I mean, I was conceived before my parents were married, but they got married before I was born. Does that count? Let me see. 
Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you may have been born that way, but no, sister, when you are an Israelite and you're full of the Holy Spirit, you're no longer bastards, but now you are daughters in your case or sons, if you understand what I mean. So, nope, you are accepted in the beloved. Your name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, and you're doing well. Now, you do need to break the curse of a bastard that took place physically between your father and your mother before you was born. Is that all right? Okay. How do I do that? Well, you just say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I renounce all um, uh, relationships um, from my family line, um, from the sins of the fathers, of the curse of the bastard, of being born out of, um, you know, I ain't going to say wedlock, but being born or conceived, let me say conceived, conceived um, without being in the natural order of things of marriage like you uh, have ordered. So I break this curse off myself and my family line in Jesus' name. That's how you do it. It's just simply that simple. It's making a confession with your mouth. Oh, okay. I did that. Okay. All right. Well, you're good to go then. Okay. Um, hold on. Danny has a question too. Shalom, Pastor. How are you? Shalom. Brother Donnie, how are you, my brother? I'm doing well, Pastor. I'm doing well. Shalom to all the saints. Family, how are y'all? Well, look, I wanted to, it's kind of old, Pastor Don, but I was uh, I was reading in uh, 1 Samuel, and you asked the question a while back. You asked us to find where in the Bible uh, it spoke of a new moon, right? And it was associated with a feast day. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. I, is, is that in 1 Samuel? Chapter twenty, verse five and six. Was that what you were speaking of? You're closed. Yeah, you're close. very, yeah, you're very, very close. Let me make sure because I'm, I'm actually doing a newsletter on this right now. But let me verify this. Um. Ah, yeah, Ver yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, you're dealing with brother Donnie the thing that I'm actually dealing with right now, and I'll go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. If you notice, the new moon was a dark moon, and it and then and it wasn't until what the people called a sliver that they could tell that the new moon had already uh, had been in play. So notice when Jonathan and David was here uh, at this particular feast, David didn't come. Notice it was three days. It was after three days, if, if my memory served me correct. Um, that I fall in order. I finally let me see. Then said Jonathan to David, uh, whatsoever thy soul desire, I will even do it for thee. David said unto Jonathan, behold, tomorrow's the new moon, uh, and that should not fail to set with the king and meet, but let me go and I hide myself in the field. Notice what he says, until the third day at evening. You see what I mean? Right, right. And that's the yes, key. Sir. That's the key right there to let you know that whenever they will see the visible part of the moon, that the new moon had already taken place, or what a lot of people are calling the conjunction had already taken place, and and they would then the crescent moon would already show people that the new moon had already had taken place. Okay. Okay. Is that making sense? All right. Yeah, it makes it make sense. Very, very good question, brother. All right. Hallelujah. Well, that's all I had, Pastor. Thank you. Shalom, Pastor. Shalom. You know who that is, don't you, Carol? So y'all, she got Sister Carol. She, yeah, she got Sister Carol laughing in the background back there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> all right, Pastor. Bless you. Bless you. I love all y'all Israelites down there. Y'all be encouraged. Yes, sir. We love you, too. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. I tell you, it's just a beautiful thing to hear from all the saints there in Louisiana and around the world. It really, truly is. Well, you know, I've enjoyed myself with y'all. I'm going to cut the broadcast off a little bit early here tonight because Pastor is really tired. I know, Pastor, you always tired. You got that right. I am because I'm working so much. Um, but, um, hey, y'all pray for my strength, all right? Pray for my strength and the most high. Y'all, I want each and every last one of you to be encouraged. Uh, the king is coming. Your names are written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. So rejoice in that. Hallelujah. Make sure that you watch um, the broadcast, okay, uh, the YouTube. Uh, go sign up for Free Speak. Um, uh, tell everybody else, hallelujah, about Free Speak. Uh, we'll be in Atlanta, Georgia, November the 3rd, um, 11 a.m. Right now is the start time. I may move it up to 10. Um, 
Um, I may move it up to 10 just so we can have a little time for fellowship. Um, I'll let Sister Carol and know I'll make a YouTube video about it. Look forward to seeing you, you, and you there. Y'all want y'all all to be encouraged. Hallelujah. Should be a very wonderful meeting. Should be able to meet some new Israelites. If not, then we all have a family reunion then. That's what we do. Hallelujah. Um, hey, y'all be encouraged. All right? Shalom, shalom, shalom. The king is coming. Uh-oh, look at him looking.